Hello internet friends. Lee's hands here again. Sorry about being filthy. I just got in from working on the hay barn all afternoon, so you'll have to deal with it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, welcome back to the old computer shack. And uh, I accidentally deleted some footage, I think. I'm not exactly sure what I lost. Um, but we may go back in time now and watch some old footage if I still have some of it. Uh, basically I removed this lithium coin cell from the motherboard, desoldered it because it was only reading 1 volt or 1.3 something like that. These are supposed to be 3 volt batteries um, and uh, soldered in some pin headers so that I could plug in external battery pack into the motherboard. So this this is just a uh, a 3 AA holder. Um, so that'll be uh, four and a half volts, which is fine. Uh, let's uh, let's go back in time and watch me remove this. I'm not going to show you uh, soldering in the pin headers because it turns out that uh, I soldered vertical pin headers in here, and when I put my DuPont connectors onto the battery case, they're going to stick up and get in the way of the bottom ISA card. So um, I'm going to pull. The de I'm going to take the motherboard back out of the machine again, desolder those uh, vertical headers, and put in a. Oh shoot! I'm out of single row. Uh, male 90 degree headers. I'll have to... I've got some two row ones. I'll have to... I'll just cut one of these dual row right angle headers in half and use that for a single row right angle header. And that should... That'll put the... Uh, then we can plug the... Uh, battery pack in horizontally and it shouldn't get in the way of the bottom ISA card and then I'll just I'll put a piece of electrical tape over the top of this just in case like I put a card in there that doesn't have a bracket and it like lays down on it or something don't want anything shortened out even though this this battery was only reading well let me um, let me get my meter here and I'll show you again Maybe, maybe out of circuit it'll be different. Maybe you're supposed to test these things out of circuit. Can you see that? Let's zoom in down a little bit so you can see that. All right, so DC volts. Yeah, so the battery reads one volt and it's dropping precipitously um, as I hold the leads on it. That's, yeah, the battery's shot. You can see there's a little bit of funk on the bottom. But, um, yeah. It was good. It was good to get this out. But for some reason, even at one volt, um, it, was, it, it was still holding the CMOS settings. Pretty borderline, though. All right, uh, I'm blathering at the mouth. Let's not do that anymore. Instead, let's fix things. Mm.
it for that. Uh, I ran out of double face tape so I used some sticky velcro and it's a little floppy but I'll uh, I think it'll be fine. I'll, uh, I'll replace it with proper double sided tape when I have a chance to get some. Oops I forgot to plug that thing back in. Can't have that we won't have any LEDs. What will we do without our blinking lights? Um, so yeah that's uh, that's it for this. I'm going to test boot it and make sure everything works, but I don't anticipate any trouble. I mean, 3 volts, 4.5 volts, whatever. Um, the next video we will talk about backing up the disc out of this thing and the trials and tribulations involved therein. So, I'll see you here in a little bit, folks. Thanks for watching.